Welcome internet, welcome to the Bootleg Universe headquarters. It is so good to have you all here. For those of you who do not recognize me without KISS makeup on, my name is Adi Shankar. I'm here today to present to you a, a new show that I've had the privilege of creating. It's called Captain Laserhawk. The show is called Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. For those of you who are not familiar with Blood Dragon, if you're into synthwave as a, as a genre of, of art and music, you're in for a treat. But why remix? Conceptually, the show is inspired by um, a few things. The first is Elseworlds. For those of you who are not familiar, Elseworlds is a DC Comics imprint that did alternate universe versions of DC properties. Everyone watching should check out a book called Kingdom Come. It's the Citizen Kane of comic books. And hopefully I didn't get canceled for comparing Citizen Kane and Kingdom Come, but to me it is, so that's my hot take. The second, Captain N, The Game Masters, which was a uh, show that for the most part people did not like, but that I thought was an awesome concept, designed as a creative reinterpretation of Nintendo's big properties from back in the day. So Captain N, the Game Master is but good. And also a big inspiration for this show was uh, the Bootleg Universe fan films. Starting in 2012, every year and change, I would release these unauthorized fan films that were creative, dramatic reinterpretations uh, often very violent, of the franchises I grew up loving. They were called the bootleg universe one-shots. You know, these were, these were things that I would get cease and desist letters for. This wasn't a celebrated thing at the time. I mean, sure, people on the internet liked them. Cut to 2016, I got a call from Ubisoft saying, hey, come work with us. I had a truly insane conversation that I thought I would never have, where I was asked if I wanted to... Um, do my bootleg universe thing, which is creatively interpret stuff with all the Ubisoft IP. I was given the privilege of going into the Ubisoft IP vault, the treasure chest of all this beloved intellectual property, put it in the Addy filter, then I like regurgitated it all out into like one coherent world. And that's the world of Captain Laserhawk. And I couldn't be more proud and I couldn't be more grateful to Hugo, Helene, Gerard, Claire, everyone at Ubisoft for, for giving me this opportunity. And it wouldn't have happened uh, without you, the fans. So thank you. The world of Captain Laserhawk is set in a parallel universe where in the 1950s, automation became widespread. And to be clear, automation in this world, in this timeline, looks like the movie Iron Giant. And that created massive ripple effects. Widespread social upheaval occurs. Unemployment is through the roof. And then the biggest tech company called Eden comes out and says, you all get universal basic income. Eden effectively becomes the economy overnight. And that's when they start exerting social control. Mass surveillance, big data, really all the reasons why this show is on Netflix and not Amazon. The story of our show follows our protagonist, Dolph Laserhawk. Uh, Dolph is a cybernetically enhanced super soldier who escaped from the Eden army and is trying to pull off his one final heist before sailing off into the sunset with his boyfriend, Alex. The animation on this show is gonna be Awesome. We really wanted to bring you guys something different, something something unique, something that is a confluence of various animation styles. Like a love letter to everything we grew up with as 90s kids. So, if you like anime, Saturday morning cartoons, violent video games marketed to kids, pro wrestling, steel cage matches, cyberpunk dystopias, Paul Verhoeven, John Carpenter, then this show is for you. Yeah. You know, I could describe this all day, but I'm just gonna cut to a 10 second clip, then you'll see what I'm talking about.
That animation you just saw was made by a fantastic company called Bobby Pills. And they are the animation studio that is making the world of Captain Laserhawk come alive. Without further ado, Bobby Pills, ladies and gentlemen, very talented people, very talented artists, dream to work with. I'm sure they'll say the same about me, but if they don't, it's okay. Hey Eddie, thank you. Welcome to Bobby Pills. Hello, I'm Mehdi. I'm uh, the director of Captain Lazarok. And I'm Balak, and I'm the creative director at Bobby Pills, the studio that is making Captain Lazarok. Ubisoft came to Bobby Pills with a, a new project. It was kind of the first time that we would do something like that, like to, to uh, direct and produce a whole show without us actually writing it. Usually we are very picky with the writing, so it was really important to us that we really connect with the show that we are about to make and the like kind of miracle that happened is that like it clicked almost instantly. Mm -hmm. Typically we do shows that shouldn't exist here and this show is just like that. This is so crazy, the idea is so like uh, crazy that it shouldn't exist, so it was the perfect match. It was like a dream, like for someone like, like or me or a few people out there who were born in the 80s to uh, be able to do a show that has so many, so much references uh, about, you know, what we grew up with. So we're like little kids again, trying to, you know, do our own uh, OVA uh, back in the 90s. To go back to that kind of um, um, feeling, and but not just mimic it, not just like the spoof in it, but like to pick it up where they left and just expand on that. Like where we are now as an artist that worked for years and years in the animation industry. Okay, if we pick that original flame, the only original thing that we that made us want to do that job. And okay, where are we now with that, you know, original flame uh, with our long experience? <laughs> and then Adi came up with all those crazy ideas about showing some video games influences. And, uh, and yeah, okay, very quickly came the opportunity to explore like pixel art, uh, very low poly uh, 3D animation, like uh, different looks for, from different platforms like PS1, but also like, you know, early Game Boy, uh, black and white. So, and it gives us um, an opportunity in storytelling to switch styles. Actually, the different styles was one of the main appeal of the whole thing. Like we can, as you said, go from video games to comic books to whatever. And that kind of artistic freedom was like one of the main things that we can say we can go for that kind of stuff because it's crazy to do that thing. While actually like not being style over substance, but actually find the right shift of style to convey the storytelling in the most compelling uh, way. And we grew up with so many influences, uh, you know, from Gorillaz, who started mixing to the 3D uh, live action. Uh, also like the work of uh, USA when we mm -hmm. saw Mind Game. And you always think like, there's never gonna be a project that cool where you can explore. There's always gonna be like a limit. This time is the total opposite. Like uh, Adi and Ubisoft are always super open-minded and uh, sometimes we have to stop them. Yeah, <laughs> and I think there's no way that uh, this that show could exist anywhere but thanks to this kind of platform, thanks to the people at Netflix that can just go, yeah, go for that crazy... Mm -hmm. One thing we will never take uh, like, uh, lightly is the emotions of the character. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Like, we want to people to feel connected to them uh, and not... Uh, just, you know, maybe they can be interested in the show for all the, you know, first impression gimmicks, maybe, but they will stay for the story and they will stay for the characters, I guess. So that's it. Uh, we're really excited and happy to be working with Netflix, uh, Ubisoft and uh, Adi Shankar, and uh, we really hope you love the show as much as we do. Yeah, that was very featured, but, you know, we actually are happy like to work on the show, so... I guess that's that. 
he calling me a liar. Of course, in Fitriot, everybody is happy to work with, with the, the, the people that giving them money. But we are actually happy to do that show. I so know. that's something, you know, that counts. Inside, I'm dancing. 